Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Order of the Flame. Blind. Last video I was complaining about a bunch of things. I'm not going to do that now. I also made sure to go back right after recording that part to go back and check the volumes and it seems okay from what I can tell. The part that was ridiculously loud was ridiculously loud but I saw that coming and I compensated for that and the other parts didn't seem very obtrusive so okay now we're here awesome okay I'm feeling good I'm feeling good let's do this for real this time what that is over there is a sword of ice if you recall the old sword of flame this one it's exactly identical to that except it's got ice instead of firepower obviously the problem is that I never figured out how to get there without dying so let's see if we can do that this time. This long sword sucks, but it's about as big as that sword, so let's drop that. Although I would need more space to... Well, I no, I don't. I won't need more space. That'll go straight to my inventory. If we need to switch to it, I will need to clear more space because this great sword doesn't fit in my inventory. Question is, how do I get through this without dying? Don't bother trying to give me any tips because you're probably going to watch this like a week after it's recorded. And that is if you're a subscriber of mine, so... Sorry about that, guys. I like pre-recording video. I don't always feel like it. I don't have time or energy to do this very frequently, so I do it with regular intervals, but I do it a lot when I actually do it. Okay, let's see. I, I'm gonna try to jump over that and then grab the sword, and I think it'll stop doing the thing it does when I grab it, so... I wonder if I can use one of those high jumps. Oh, okay, that sucked. Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Grab it. Ow! I died. See, that's what happens. I actually did manage to grab it once. I said I wasn't going to say that, but whatever. Ah, nope. Dead. See? Yeah, I, I grabbed it once, and that's how I know it is identical to the, the Sword of Flame. It has the same damage, the same durability, it's just ice instead of fire. So, since I can't for the life of me figure out how I'm supposed to grab that without dying, I'm going to leave it there. Not the greatest sword, does 15 damage, the sword, a couple of swords that I have, or a couple of weapons, you do 20 damage, so it's obviously inferior, so I'm gonna stop say ending it sentences with so, so, okay, I think I, I'm not, let's, I have a little bit of experience with killing these guys, a little bit. The problem is that they like to be incredibly unfair, so I think... Oh yes, please keep doing that. Please keep doing that. That is perfect. Please keep doing that. That is the best thing ever. Yes! Amazing! Great shot. Amazing. Bullseye. Uh. Oh, no, I didn't... Okay, great. <laughs> I bumped my uh, health potion to Q. I lift my, lifted my hand to save and then I put it back down and I hit Q with my ring finger. There's two more of those damn things here. They're not always that easy to get rid of. You'll see what I mean in just a few moments. They throw snowballs. It would seem that when they're not busy standing up and sitting down and standing up again, that they like to just roll really big snowballs just in case someone throws shows up ouch, that they need to throw them at. That wasn't bad at all. I had a lot of trouble with these things. There's some potions. I don't have any room. What? 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 She doesn't have any room for potions. Something's terribly wrong with the world. What? I have two long swords. One of them sucks. Actually, this one also sucks. So I might as well just throw that away. Fifteen damage, medium, medium. Whatever. Go away. I don't have any room. Need more room to up this bow though. Let's see, this is a heavy bow, 104 durability. This is a long bow, 75 durability. Well then, let's leave that behind too. Potion, save. That guy's out of snowballs. That's when they turn into a threat. Because those guys really love to throw their snowballs. 
They know nothing more. They, they want nothing more from this whole world, their whole entire existence, than to throw snowballs. He's not very really happy that he doesn't have these things. He's got three fingers and two fingers and a thumb. Again, though, perfectly animated. Contrary to Rin's box hands. I'm fascinated by that. It does make more so it does make sense that a bigger creature would have more detail in these smaller regions, though. So that sounded really weird. Dude, are you stuck? Please tell me you're stuck. That would be the best thing ever. If you're stuck there and can't get, get away, then oh shit, no. We're not gonna have That's what they do. They pick you up, they throw you, and then you die. And although I said I wasn't gonna see it anymore last time, I actually ended up with all three of them alive in this spot. And I had to really cheese my way to get through it. Somehow two of them managed to kill each other. I really wish I'd kept that particular video, I guess. That would that would be that would be funny. Okay, he's coming this way, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this the way I know how. Alright, I'm going to use I have three different kinds of arrows. And I can't see what they are. Ice arrow, magic arrow, arrow. Flaming arrow. Let's use this. Because that sounds like it'll do a lot of damage. Arrow. arrow. I don't like that word. I have problems articulating certain words. I have noticed. Okay, are you dead yet? What kind of arrow is this? I can't switch well. These are regular arrows. Those are magic arrows. Ice arrow. Arrow. Okay, I have some regular arrows. I have to re lean real close to the screen to make out what letters those are against the white. Come on, you had better die from this. Come on. Ice arrow, though. That's... That could be useful. Okay, he died. Never mind. Dude. Oh. Did I take damage from that, or was that just an animation? I wasn't really looking. I could save and then load and then load again to find out, but I'm not. Dude, I have to get past here. Can you? Thank you. You might wonder what amazingness I will acquire for destroying such mighty foes. Well, this guy was guarding nothing. He just has his little cubby hole there. The other guy was guarding two life potions, of which I'm gonna use one. Like, now. And that guy was just there for fun. So, we pretty much get nothing out of the whole ordeal. But I'm glad I got that over with. Now we can get back on track, because this, this whole area is at that end. It's just a big secret area with some side stuff. Like I said in a previous video, I'm... Uh, I'm all for side stuff, and I'm gonna explore as much of that as possible, and I'm gonna show everything I find. Even if I have to re-record it and I don't deem it worth it, I'm gonna show it. Now to get back on track, what you're supposed to do here, if you don't want awesome side missions that are kinda hard to find because you have to look up and fly up... See, if I look at this, I would think that you probably can't make it up to the snow, right? That's probably an invisible ceiling, right? But no, you can fly quite a bit up into the snow. The ceiling is at this height. So hiding things above that area is just dastard. We have to make it through this thing. You can't fly or walk through them. Obviously. So you have to get to the other side. Has rain. Of course. Oh. Hi, 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 hi. I hate the guys with shields. They are so cumbersome. Hi, Arok. Do my favor. There's a guy somewhere. I'm not sure where, but here we go. Thank you. Dragons are useful. Good luck, Rin. Thank you. They're also quite polite. Well, some of them are. Some dragons just fly around and go squee and shoot poison at you. I know I'm wasting my sword, but I have so many of them. I'm even keeping the bad ones, and I don't even know why. I'll probably get better ones before I have a time to have the time to. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna save real quick like that because that was a habit that I <laughs> that was a habit that I started doing 
I said I wasn't gonna refer to the last videos. Shut up, Rox! Shut up! Okay, good. Hi. That attack does so much damage if it actually hits. Here's a bow. 85, I think that's another heavy bow. Yes it is. Okay, taking that. And I'm gonna repeat my amazing performance from last... I said I wasn't gonna do this. Crying out loud. <laughs> that guy has explosive barrels that he throws at you. Best way to kill him? Obviously. Shoot the barrels. Dead. Real easy. And it makes you feel clever when you figure it out. Which you do it on the first try, just like this, and don't actually take five minutes trying and retrying to kill him and failing because he keeps throwing those barrels at you when you run in to try to hit him. Like <coughs> anyway. <laughs> now that we've gotten that obstacle out of the way. We can go and open that gate for Arok here on the other side. <laughs> in around two minutes when we get around to that side. Or talk parts. I'm hungry. It's really bad that I got reminded of about how hungry I am when looking at war talk parts. The gate is over here. And in a twist of incredibly ingenious game design, there's no like button or anything, or sign or anything, or anything that would tell you how to open this. I even you could even run up this platform and go, how am I supposed to oh my god, there's a switch in the freaking ground. <laughs> Arok! Where is he? There he is. Hi. That took me a really long time to find it. That I just I wasn't gonna talk about last. Okay. <coughs> oh god, fly, 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 fly. He's gonna hit us. Suck it. That's a lot of stuff. You have no idea. I have to express it though, even though I said I wasn't gonna talk about it. Oh. If I was titling my videos, this one would be... I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, I'm really relieved at how smoothly this is going. Why are you flying sideways? Dragon Hub. I'm gonna save that, actually. It doesn't seem to disappear if you leave it for a while, so... Because, uh, yeah, things I didn't find that switch, and I had to die, and... Then I tried reloading, and then I found the secret area up there, and I had to, to use a separate save to go explore that, because I was stuck down here on this save, and it was just a mess. I'm relieved that I get to do that over. It was fate. Fate made me... Fate made me go and try again, because it sucked so much the first time. Not that I believe in fate. I mean, I claim to not believe in fate, and if I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't. But I kind of do. Because it's a. I knew you were there. I knew you were there. Dead. That's some kind of weird red dragon that we've never seen before. We've only seen the, the black and blue feathery ones and the green and black scaly ones that shoot venom or whatever. I wonder if that one shoots fire. I've never seen him attack, actually. But yeah. What was I saying? Fate? Was that what I was talking about? Yeah, it's. There's a door down here. That I do not know how to open. I wonder if there's another switch somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. I need. My goal is to get in there somehow. Because that is something I failed with last time. I'm gonna stop saying that. Honest. Is that a, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I don't know, don't ask. Jeez. I'm actually missing, I'm running out of ammo. Drop out? No. I'm not taking any damage at all. This is going awesomely because I know exactly where everything is, obviously. And that's okay, yeah, sure. 
That's where we're going through. The switch open that gate is there. Hey, are those guys? That's a guy. Hey, guy. I'm gonna shoot you. Did you die? Or are you just... Nope. This might be a good place to use the poison thing. Weird thing about the poison breath is that you actually don't have a breath with it. The alternate fire for the fire is the flamethrower, obviously. The poison just has... Primary fire is a ball that explodes. The secondary is a ball that bounces instead of explodes. So you can't breathe poison. I'm not even gonna hop off Arak while that's there, because if, if you can hurt yourself with this fire, then... I don't wanna... wanna risk that. Hell, this is going so awesomely. Doing progress and everything. Amazing. Can't... there we go. I was kind of hoping to fit this whole part, this whole area into one video now that I know exactly what to do. I'm giving myself another minute though. But I have to find the switch that opens the door below. Is it up here? Because now I know that the game may, may well hide stone colored switches on stone. Right, okay. Another dude with explosive barrels. Dude, yes, I left you behind on purpose, I rock. Just save me from yes he did. Thank you. Very nice. I'll wait for you. Yeah, oh yeah, I know you said that. Like a minute ago. See that door down there leads into here. The door's down there, bottom right. But I have no idea what opens it. I won't have time to do that this video because yeah. my maximum time limit my personal maximum time limit is eighteen minutes. Don't ask why, there's a serious amount. Yeah. You have a shield, don't you? Shield. I hate you because you have a shield. It's gonna click until you die. Oh, that's not working out. At least I have a lot of health. But I'll leave that for later. And that's not something I know from experience, that's just something I know because this game is hard. Come on. Yeah. Nice. Shield sounds like metal when you walk on it. Great Master Sword. Where'd it go, there it is. Wow, another invisibility potion. I have two now. Excellent. Well, okay, down here there's nothing except a lever. So, I'm gonna pull that lever next time. Bye.